It is a beautiful day. We've got a little bit of wind. We are standing in Arrington, Tennessee, because today I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about moving to Arrington. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We've got lots of information and lots of video for you to see behind the scenes and what it really looks like to live in Arrington. Let's take a journey back in time. Arrington was originally known as Petersburg and it actually received its first post office in 1858, which was then renamed to Arrington after the nearby creek. Over the years, Arrington has flourished with families like the Buchanans, the Couches and Kings laying down roots in this tight knit community. This small town boasts of a rich religious heritage with churches like Bellevue Cumberland Presbyterian and Hopewell AME dating back to the 1800s. Schools like Arrington School and Patton's Chapel School were once integral parts of this community. In 1914, the arrival of the railroad, which is just right around the corner from Arrington Vineyards, brought further growth. So with the depot coming into town, it just started thriving with the business development here. And obviously for good reason, because when you look around, the landscape is truly beautiful. Arrington's strategic location offers the best of both worlds. Sitting near the junction of the major highways, commuting to Nashville is truly a breeze. If you enjoy nature, you will love Arrington as Henry Horton State Park is just a stone's throw away, which has absolutely beautiful scenic trails and really great fishing spots, if I do say myself. So as you can see, Arrington is not commercialized. However, there are a few mom and pop shops that you've got to check out that really does make Arrington what it is today. The first on our list is the Three French Hens. Located at the corner of Murfreesboro Road and Wilson Pike, it boasts of all things farmhouse and home goods. And what's really fun about this find is that it's actually a consignment shop. So have fun digging through all the things there. Right next door to that is Mercantile 1858, which is also full of home decor and boutique gifts. And it's also, if you walk in there and talk to the owners, you'll see that they do some home design. So if you're living in the area or looking to relocate and you need an interior designer, stop in there because they are some of the best around. So Arrington is quickly becoming a really popular tourist destination as I'm standing in one of the most popular spots today, Arrington Vineyards. Arrington Vineyards is a local winery here and is truly perched on a picturesque hillside that's overlooking all of the vines. It's the perfect place to spend an afternoon with a picnic and a delicious bottle of their Red Fox Red while you're here. You can let your kids run around, grab a picnic table, and just enjoy a really beautiful day in the sun. So they do have food here on site. There is a little cottage up there called Simply Living Life where you can buy a gourmet charcuterie board. You can get some bruschetta or of course my favorite, the chicken flatbread and pair it nicely with your favorite wine. You can schedule a private tasting here or schedule a group party like we're about to do. We actually have our annual Wallace group day at Arrington Vineyards coming up on May 4th. So if you're relocating to the area and would like to make some friends, stop by, we'd love to have you. So there are two locations to park it up here at Arrington Vineyards. You can come up on the front side, which is the first part of the property that you see when you drive in, or you can park down at the barn, which is a big red barn. They've got live bluegrass music down there, lots of space for kids to run around, and it really is a great time and destination that's becoming really popular for bachelorette parties. So if you're coming into town and you want something fun to do, but want that farm, rural life, come out to Arrington, it will not disappoint. So if you're considering moving to Arrington, let me just fill you in that the median home price here is around $1.175 million. And there's a lot of upscale living in the country out here in Arrington. Subdivisions like Arrington Ridge, Kings Chapel, and Hardyman Springs all provide a really luxurious living space where you can truly get the best of both worlds, living in a really nice home, but getting to see the beautiful countryside. 
So whether you're seeking a peaceful retreat or just a place to call home, Arrington welcomes you with open arms. And if you're planning to come into town and looking for a place to stay, Kyle and I actually have an Airbnb that's just five minutes around the corner from Arrington Vineyards. It's got a little pool, it's really cute. So reach out to us, we would love to have you stay. Thanks again for coming and watching this video. We cannot wait to see you in Middle Tennessee. And until then, keep exploring.